What's up, Power Crews? I'm Paradomics, and welcome back to Midnight Train. So anyways, we're about to punish a little doll for doing a little, little murder here. And, uh, I'm just gonna put you in there. Yes. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the golden key. That's pretty neat. I just went free to here. All criminals must be punished. They didn't want to do this. But you committed, the doll committed a bunch of murder. Now here, saying guilty, guilty. Listen, man. I didn't, I didn't want to do it. Please, stop saying it's my fault. I promise you, I was just a scared little boy. Oh, someone wants to go in here. Yes, there's a golden key in here. This is... If I had to choose which one's the worst building, I would choose this one without hesitation. Yep. Torture. What? Torture? I'm not going in there. I better try in the other way. What if Luna's in there? Wait. What if Luna entered this room? If it's a possibility, she could be in danger. Then you don't have a choice. Dear, dear Neil Lawton, 300 knives stuck in your body, that's what you're going to feel. However, the pain that the victims and their families felt was much worse. Uh-oh. Ah, I'm tied up. Passenger detected. Duration torture. 15 minutes? No, wait, no! Uh-oh. Oh, ah, 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 it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, ah, no, ah, stop, ah. it's just an illusion, hold on, Neil, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's not real, it's not real, ah, no, it hurts, how pitiful, why not, as his own goes, my new year help him, right? Get out of here. You, you're just an illusion. I don't want to see you. Ah! I can make the torture and stop if he sends him a simple question. Do you loot? Can you remind me what you are? Someone pathetic, miserable, useless. Even after all this time, you said baby, you are. That's why you must keep suffering. That's what a person like you deserve. You must suffer forever. <laughs> oh. No, I wasn't talking about me. That's what you were. A pathetic, miserable, useless person that defined you perfectly. I'm not going to deny that the pain I'm feeling right now is unbearable, but I know it's not real. None of this is. I've already felt much more intense pain than this. Guilt. And that was real. I have endured those torture. And I will end this curse. I'm going to destroy you, Midnight Express. And he had to feel that for 15 minutes. Torture has been complete. My body doesn't hurt anymore, but I'm exhausted. That was the longest 15 minutes of my life. I wasted a lot of time. I hope Luna isn't in danger. I must, she must have got, gone the other way. I must hurry and find her. Oh. Get the fuck, I don't need that shit. Get the fuck out of my way. I hope it's not to press. Last time I opened present like this, there was nothing good inside. Maybe it's another pocket watch. There's a note inside. To make up for lost time due to the duration of torture, we offer you a present. If you regret your action, you can use it on yourself. Or you could use it to end someone else's suffering quickly. What kind of message is this? Oh, it's a gun or a knife. Wait, inside a present is... 
It's a gun, isn't it? Oh, now we're lo You would rather not return to that room. It's way too dark in there. You bumped several furnitures while trying to advance. Wow. What a clumsy girl. Oh my gosh. Well, again, that that's Luna for you. She doesn't want to solve puzzles. There's something wrong with more. Okay, so five box equals five. <laughs> she's not gonna look for a key, she's just gonna break shit open. It's not. I keep trying, but I can't break the curse despite being trapped here for a year. The curse is more powerful than I anticipated. I can't do anything. My goal was to curse the Midnight Express so it could trap criminals and assist Black Gear with its activities. The criminals were supposed to send were supposed to be sent to Black Gear headquarters, but instead they must have sent it to this bizarre place. The curse is probably affected by a lot of people already, but so far none of them have made it to the last building. Only me. Liberty, purity. I leave Black Gear into your hand. Some strange ritual. There's several documents here, but you can't understand the content. Oh, there's something up here. Arrow pointed up to the wall. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, it's a mini Luna. <laughs> Small doll of herself. I was about to get hit by a train. No, she's gonna get hit by a train. We need to get her out of there. Oh. Well, I don't want to go pushing buttons randomly had I known that I suck at fucking figuring out who the murderer was. Two circles equals two. Oh, is that telling me what it's... Okay, so it says here, the square is five. And circle is two. Okay. Wooden ladder. Take it. Lock. Alright. So, square five, circle two. And triangle seven. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that opened. So we gotta. Oh no! It's getting closer. It's gonna kill her. Oh no! We need to move the doll out of the way. <laughs> Why won't we move the doll out of the way? But then again, she is trying to kill herself, so... Huh? I forgot what was the triangle. I know it's two... Uh, circle two, square five... And forgot the triangle. Oh, crap. Seven. That's what it is. Seven. Savon. Okay. Okay. Two, seven. Two, seven, five. Oh, so that's the. Okay, so I need to press the button twice. And seven times and five. Okay. Green was triangle, right? I just I have to make I have to just be extra sure. No. Okay, so blue, red, green. Blue is two, green is five, and red is seven. Okay. So blue, red. Okay, so this is one, two. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven. Small Luna doll. I want a small Luna doll. <laughs> Luna's adorable. Does that so symbolize the one eyed girl? That one. Uh oh. Well, she's just gonna accept it. She's just like, okay. Because this is how I die. Finally, this is the end of my journey, of my life. I waited for this moment. Time to pay for my crimes and be freed from this guilt. I have. I only have one wish. Wait! Doesn't the skull only attack those who have a pocket watch? If they attack her, that means her pocket watch still works! Neil, please escape from here and save the others. No. Damn, look at that smile. I'm sorry, Luna. I'm not going to let anyone hurt you, not even yourself. I can't agree with you this time. I won't let you take your life. The train has given me these bullets to shoot you or myself. What nonsense, right? I'd never do that. Thanks for giving me a weapon to protect Luna, stupid train. I'll take care of this. Shoot all the enemies. Aim for the lower half of the skull. Use the arrows to aim. Use the arrows to aim and Z to shoot them. Oh, I used all the save files. Well, I'm gonna save here, I guess. Oh, Luna's in our team now. Whatever shoot Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I was, just, I was just curious. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Pew, pew, die, bitch. No, you're trying to run away. Why won't you even try to attack me? You know, you'd think that they, if Neil would just has like one pistol. He can't kill you all if you swarm him. Fuck, stay still, you shit. There you go. Oh, the strange throw out. Yeah, I'll maneuver me, huh? Oh, here you go. I'm pretty sure there weren't a lot. There's, there weren't this much of you. That was the last one, I think. Luna! Don't go. I just want to talk. I understand the pain you're feeling. I feel that way too. And the others too. We all regret what we did. 
but none of them have given up yet. Don't give up, Luna. I'm a murderer. That is a crime that, that can't be forgiven. That's part of your past. You've changed. And that's what matters now. <coughs> no matter what I do, I'll always be a murderer. I can't return the lives I've taken. Then, are you saying the only option you have left is to kill yourself? You will not be able to change the past, but you can still contribute to a better future. I guess I only have one option. The only way to convince you is proving that you aren't guilty of the crimes you've committed. I think the, cur the guilt you, fe you feel doesn't let you see the truth that what really happened in your past. I'm going to make sure you know the truth. Uh-oh. I don't know how this is gonna end. Neil's deduction! Yeah! <laughs> if we lose, we'll scream that we'll never become a great detective again. This time, due to Luna's instability. You can't fail even once? I've deduced everything what happened in Luna's past. I don't have much information about it. Almost everything I know is thanks to Celine. But if I connect all the information I have used, I have using logic, then the truth will be revealed. Luna. Something very traumatic happened in your childhood. Your parents were victim of a terrorist who specialized in bombs and you witnessed that tragedy. Since then, you started living, living in Steam Fort's orphanage. Met Celine, who ended up becoming your best friend. However, one day you suddenly left the orphanage and didn't see her. Some something must have happened. Perhaps kidnapping is not the most appropriate word to define this situation. But I'm sure you didn't plan in advance to escape from the orphanage. My proof is Celine. It's too strange that you left the orphanage without saying goodbye to her. I don't think it was an adoption either. Another fact from your past that I know is that you were a Black Gear member. You have revealed it yourself. There's something important about it that you haven't told me. How did you join the organization? If I think about the fact that I've stated earlier, I can only come to one conclusion. Someone, the person who helped you escape the orphanage, told you about Black Gear. A Black Gear member went to the orphanage for the sole purpose of making you join the organization. That's why you disappeared from the orphanage. Oh! But due to that conclusion, I have a new question appears. Why did Black Gear want to return? It doesn't make sense. What could you contribute to an organization that murders criminals? Or just a little girl? Black Gear wanted to train at a young age. Celine told me something very interesting while I was with her. She said you weren't very athletic when you were at the orphanage. Right now you were the opposite. Your skills are far superior compared to a normal person. Luna, when you joined Black Gear, they made you endure an intense training, right? It was probably something so tough, I don't even want to imagine it. That's what I saw. They wanted to train someone young to turn them into the best assassin in the organization. The training probably lasted years, something almost unbearable. Why did you put up with all that? Why did you agree to join? And why did Black Gear specifically choose you? They could have chosen any child. They wanted justice from your parents. Fortunately, the police wasn't able to find a criminal that killed their parents. But you wanted to join, but you wanted that criminal to pay for what he had done. That's why Black Gear, Black Gear chose you. An orphan who had wishes to avenge her parents was easy to manipulate. They probably told you if you joined, you could prevent that terrorist from hurting more people or something like that. As you grew within the organization, they tried to instill their values in you. started to believe that what you were doing was the right thing to do. Honestly, what they did to you is despicable. Black Deer claims that they cleanse the world from impurities. But in order to achieve it, they've ruined the life of a poor girl. That's also a crime. Damn hypocrites. Ugh, I need to calm down. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Depressing. What exactly are you doing? Running away or... You may still have the tattoo in your right hand, but you aren't a member anymore. You've escaped from the organization, right? You were looking for a place to start a new life. Honestly, it takes a lot of courage to make a decision like that. 
you grew up in an organization with a very questionable ideal, but you realized that wasn't the correct path and you tried to do something about it. That's not easy. No matter how you look at it, in my opinion, you are a victim. Actually, I agree with Black here about something. Criminal criminals must be stopped before hurt they hurt more people. But I can't agree with their means. They've taken advantage for your love for your parents. Luna, there's something I must ask you. Remember your past one more time. You realize that everything I said is true. Remember your past, Luna. You must remember the truth. Baby Luna. Those flowers were very pretty. Are you making a flower crown for your friend? I knew you had a pure heart, Luna Windell. Who the fuck are you? You look so important! <laughs> Did I surprise you? I've been trying to contact you for a while, but you were always with that pink haired girl. I think her name was Selena Ambrose. She, she snuck out of the orphanage to steal food, right? What a naughty little girl. For now, I'll ignore that fact, but if she continues to steal when she grows up, perhaps I will have a little chat with her. Oh, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Purity. I belong to an organization called Black Gear. Wow, you must be important since you have your own... character icon. I've tried to contact you on several occasions, but since you are living in an orphanage, it has been quite difficult. Are you sure you want to leave, even if I tell you I have information regarding what happened to your parents? It does not surprise me that you do not trust a stranger like me, concerning what the cruel and despicable terrorists did to them. Did you know that the police have not captured him yet? As we speak, he may be preparing his next terrorist attack. Another child like you could witness his parents being murdered. Do you think we should prevent that? You, Luna Windell, should understand the gravity of this situation the most. That is why we would be delighted if you joined our humble organization. Black Gear is an organization that prevents criminals from committing more crimes. That way we, could, we can achieve a world without impurities. A world where no one should suffer for crimes of another person. All members are like you. People who have suffered the consequences of a of a crime committed by someone else. Instead of leaving it to the police who cannot do their jobs properly, we'll take care of it ourselves. What do you think? Would you like to join Black Gear? Of course, I'm not going to force you to join. That is your decision. But this is your only chance. I'm a busy woman. I can't waste any more time returning to this orphanage. I hope you understand. If you want, we can go together to the Black Gear's headquarters so our leader can tell you more information about the organization. If we cannot convince you, then you do not need to join. You also don't have to worry about these steel bars that separate us. I'm a woman with many resources. Seems you're still hesitating. Oh, of course. You're thinking of your friend Celine. Friendship is something to be treasured. Fortunately, we cannot, cannot wait for her to return. I'm truly sorry you cannot say goodbye to her. What could I do to compensate you for this unfortunate situation? Hmm. Oh, that's why they were looking for Celine. If you joined the organization, if you, could, if you join, the organization can make an on anonymous donation to the orphanage so that all the children can eat better. Your dear friend will not need to steal food again. She'll, she'll be able to live a better life. Oh no, they were looking for Celine because they want to kill her because she's a thief and the cops can't get her. So the organization would be like, alright, let's fucking kill her, I guess. Have I convinced you? Then it's time for us to go to Black Gear headquarters. Justice, the leader, is looking forward to meeting you. I'm going to get you out of here right away. Or should you just break open the vents? Like, come here, little child. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a very creepy ass place. Justice! Oh, Purity. I see you are in good company. You must be Luna, right? I'm glad you, decide, you decided to visit our organization. I hope the trip wasn't very tiring. Make yourself at home. It's a bit too loud. 
If I had known you were coming so early, I would have prepared some sweets for you. Anyway, my name is Justice too. Oh, so the first Justice is trapped here. I, but you can call me Justice. It's simpler. Oh, look at that. The Justice. My hands are out. Makes me more professional. I guess you're wondering who Justice One is, right? He was the original leader and founder of the organization, but he disappeared a while ago. A mysterious and unpredictable man, and he had a strange fondness of the occult. My theory is he disappeared doing one of his strange rituals, but no one else believes the same. We did our best to find him, but it was useless, so I took the role on our leader. I still have a hard time getting used to it. Thankfully, I have Purity by my side. I don't know what I would do without her. Speaking of purity, she is fluent in many languages, including sign language. She can understand anything you say to her. Mastering a wide range of form of communication is essential to assist the development of Black Gear operations. It's basic knowledge, nothing to be proud of. A modest as ever. Purity ha must have already told you about Black Gear and like to tell you. And I'd like to tell you more about the organization. We make sure the criminals who have escaped the law don't do more harm to our society. Sadly, the police aren't enough to protect our society. Many criminals escape because of the bribes and incompetence of the police force, like the terrorists that killed your parents. That's why we have offered you to join the opportunity to join. You should understand this kind of injustice better than anyone else. It breaks my heart when I think you were going to spend your childhood in an orphanage. We want to give you a better future. Obviously, nothing can make up for the pain you felt when you lost your family. But you will find many people similar to you here. We can also, we all understand your pain, isn't that right, Pure? Indeed. But I believe we've already given her enough information about her goal. We should proceed to talk about the structures of the organization. You're right. You already know I'd like to talk a lot. Our members are divided into two groups, the investigation team and the action team. The investigation team is in charge of collecting information about criminals, such as their location and weaknesses. They infiltrated different places to obtain any information that may be useful to the organization. The action of those teams are those who, thanks to the information provided by the investigation team, face the criminals. By the way, Purity belongs to the investigation team, and I belong to the action team. We, we usually let members choose the team they prefer, but we would like you to join the action team. You're obviously still too young to face any criminals, though. We will, but we will offer you training, food, and a place to sleep. I'll be in charge of supervising your training and making sure you have a pleasant and comfortable stay in the Black Gear. It takes a lot of skill to silence that criminal forever. I'm afraid you have to train hard. Oh, in case I have not expressed myself clearly, silence forever mean I mean kill. Enough purity. Mm. Our guest is feeling exhausted. We shouldn't burden her with so much information. Indeed. I will be more careful next time, Luna. You may have noticed that a peculiar that we have a clear name. That's because we use code names in our organization. We're like heroes that watch over the well-being of society while hiding within the shadows. That's why we must hide our identity. If you join, you'll also need a code name. Can you think of something, Purity? Unfortunately, I am not very good at thinking of names. But if I have to pick one, I would say Serenity would suit her particularly well. Serenity. Yes, I'd like to... That's a good name for someone as calm as her. Luna Windell, if it's okay with you, we'll call you Serenity from now on. But never forget your real name. That's who you really are. I'm afraid it's time to hear your decision. Would you like to join Black Gear and contribute to the better future? Splendid. I'm very honored you decided to join. Welcome to Black Gear, Serena. I shall start or organizing preparation for the welcome party. Yes, I'm sure the other members will be delighted to meet her. And I will see you later. Thanks to you, I think Black Gear will have a bright future. I believe you'll become one of the most talented members. We will make criminals tremble in fear from hearing our names and make the police ashamed for being so incompetent. Let's walk together through the path that leads to justice. I remember it clearly. I remember the day my life would change forever. Back then, I had no idea I would become the most dangerous member of the organization. I was tricked by all those kind words. After that, I remember the tough training they put me through. I thought it was tough due to my lack of talent. 
but now I realize it was inhumane. Inhuman. I also remember my first official mission. The first time I pierced someone with my knife. It was the man who killed my parents. I killed him. But I remember how it didn't make me happy. It made me feel more miserable. But I continued because I thought it was my duty. I pierced a lot of people with my knife. And after many years, the day finally come. The day I realized I didn't want to continue in that dark place. Oh, that's what you looked like before? Just like dark clothes on? Justice! I came to, re to report the results of missions S SY25. Serenity, are you back from your mission? How did it go? <gasps> she looks so badass! Serenity has reported that the target have been successfully eliminated. We expected nothing less from our best member. That was especially dangerous serial killer. Good job. You aren't hurt, are you? I've already examined her physical condition and have not found any injuries. The criminal had no chance against her. It was quick and clean, and a clean death as usual. And that's Serenity style. She doesn't want people to see people suffer. She's too considerate. I can't believe it's been so many years since you've joined. And like us, you've changed a lot. Kids grew up so fast. By the way, copycat's investigating your next target. Should you come back today to report so Cynthia was also part of the... Uh -uh. Oh, that's why it says espionage was her crime. For now, you should go back to your room and rest. Is there a problem? Do you notice that I am nervous? I know you too well. What happened? Serenity told me that she would like to leave the organization. What? We can't lose her. I wouldn't mind if it was another member, but not her. We invested many years in training to turn her into what she is now. She's more effective than any other members. We have to manage we've managed to eliminate several dangerous criminals thanks to her. If she leaves, no, we cannot allow that. But we're going to force her to stay. That would be ideal, but I don't think any of our members could fight against her if she decided to leave. She's too skilled. I know, but I don't think she can do much against all of them at once. Order the members to keep an eye on Serenity and prevent her from leaving the, her, her room. As you wish. Little did you know, Serenity knew all that from the beginning. Oh, it's Cynthia. Copycat, your adorable roommate has returned. Did you miss me? <gasps> so, so they were roommates, so they knew each other. Oh, damn. That's why she killed herself, because she can't... Just kidding. I did miss you, though. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I knew she would, like, have some sort of reappearance at some point. Because it, it's weird that she has her own character icon and she just kills herself and disappears. Ugh, I'm exhausted. I want to sleep. But they've already given me a new mission. This time it's different than usual. It seems our members have disappeared during the mission related to Bluebell. I investigated that city. What about you, Serenity? Why don't why didn't you tell me that you have pl that you plan to leave the organization? Huh, don't panic. I'm on your side. Purity asked me to keep an eye on you and make sure you don't leave the room, so I figured you were planning to leave. Black Gear means a lot to me. They saved me and my sister from our father. That's why I joined, to thank them for everything they have done for us. My sister's clumsier than me, so she wasn't able to join. The organization has strict rules. We already know we can only leave the organization if we have a mission. But I can't, st but I can't stand being trapped here without seeing my sister. That's why I escape sometimes. You've always helped me when I did, so I owe you a lot. So it's my turn to help you. I admire you a lot, you know. Despite being the same age as me, you fight against those despicable criminals. I don't have the courage to kill anyone, so I'm part of the investigation team. You, mu you must have witnessed very traumatic things on your mission. It's understandable you want to leave. I remain loyal to Black Gear, but helping someone I care about is always my priority. 
Let's go, Serenity. I'm going to help you escape the organization. Hmm? Don't tell me you plan to escape alone. That's impossible. There are many members who keep keeping watch to ensure you don't escape. Orders from justice and purity. We will leave without them, without, without them noticing. You know, I specialize in infiltrating and disguising myself. Escaping from here would be easy for me. It's not my first time doing it. Before you leave our room... Hey! Could you file... Can you find a file about the mission LB201 for me? Sorry, I have orders to stand guard by this door. I must keep an eye on, Ser on Serenity too, but I need that file and I can't leave the room. I can watch over her for you while you bring me the file. Okay, I'm gonna go and search for it then. La 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 Good luck searching for it, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> the entrance is clear. Let's go. Damn! She's got a knife. The knife you always use in your mission. Damn, Serenity and Copycat were so badass. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. In the next mission, we'll try to escape this damn awful organization who won't let us go because Luna is too badass. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, so I so Cynthia was Luna's friend. Holy crap. Jeez. That sucked that she died at the very first part of the game. <laughs> oh man. Oh so I guess I guess that's a surprise. Anyways, we'll just have to see you in the next video. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up the like button to death. Pick up my parkour today and I'll see you guys in the next video.